and here we go. Now, I have this going slightly downhill. We use a close-up camera, and we use it at a, quite a bit of an angle, so it's going to exaggerate the angle that we're at. But it's so important for close-ups for you to see what I'm doing. And in fact, we might just do that right now, is put a nice little close-up so you can see how I'm stroking this rock. All right, so here we go. See this? I just draw a little bit of a circle. See, I'm just going over like that. And what happens is part of the brush will hit the black and the part that's on top will just coat that. So it's like highlighting all at once. And this will be in the river. Kind of reminds me of that little uh, toy we had with my grandson, Joshua. Boy, he loved it. And I find he loved it so much we finally gave it to him. And then I don't know whatever happened to him. But it was called Wally. And uh, Wally was uh, a little fish that hung on the wall like a display. And if you touch a button, it starts to sing, Take me to the river. Drop me in the water. And Joshua would dance like crazy to that. And so he and I would just sit there and dance and dance and dance in my studio. And uh, it was so much fun. All right, this is why I say grandkids are better off having them first. All right, better off having them first. Okay, and in no time at all, you can see I've got, see how you can change the size, just a dash or big one. So you can have all different kinds of shape. It takes no time at all to do this. All righty. Uh, here we go. Now, one thing is important is that after you've gotten this done, this whole thing has to be dry before you do the next step. All right. So we're just going to take our river right off the canvas. All right. Whoops. See, each time I load up, black on the black side, white on the white side. You can go over rocks so that, you know, it looks like they're piled on top of each other. All right, so you've got all the power. You can do whatever you like. Okie dokie. We have a, a number of oil painting projects that we may go ahead and just show you how to do them in acrylics like our forest walk, which shows you how to do a little stream along a path in the middle of the forest. And uh, then we have another one which is a lot of water, which is at the beach. It's called Day at Cape Cod. Boy, if you ever wanted to make my kids happy when they were growing up, just tell them, let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach. They can even say these big names that I couldn't have beaches, like Pasquamica. It's been only the last three years that I've figured out how to say that thing successfully. And uh, then when I finally got it said, they said, Dad, we don't go there anymore. We go over here, and it's some other thing, you know, like Missy Hoopiana. So, now I go to Missy Hoopiana. I think they made that up just to torture me. I'm looking over my uh, crew. They don't know. They've never been there. I think they go to Rocky Point or Water Country or someplace like that. Do you go to Water Country? Oh. Why not? It's for kids. For kids. Oh, do you see that? Uh, I wonder what they call me. I like to go down the water slide. All right, let's back up and take a look at what we've got, where we might add a few more. All right, well, I think right in here, yeah, we could use a few more. So we'll go ahead, and there it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. See how easy that is? All 
I love doing stuff like this. And this just takes a couple of minutes and boom, before you know it, wow, you got a masterpiece going. Go ahead and grab a little bit more of the uh, black. And we'll go. And I'll tell you, these uh, little uh, tips that we learn, you know, that's why I always tell my students, you know, make sure you take classes from as many instructors as you can because you never know what you're going to learn from one or the other. So there's no harm in taking from a lot of different uh, students or a lot of different teachers. I don't know, some students are pretty good. I don't mind taking instructions from them either. Okay, well, I think we'll finish this off over here. See, just start to, maybe that river is turning over this way. Can't tell, can't tell. We're so far from being done. I just like doing this, you know. Maybe I ought to just cover the whole... I think that'd make a good wallpaper for a, a website. Is just go ahead and do all these river rocks. Gotta admit, they're fun. They grow on you. Okay. Now, another thing, too. Let's look at this. Is that up here, this should be narrower than what we have way down here. So we should be coming from, you know, just for perspective, this should come from a uh, smaller area. Hey, okay, there we go. And maybe we can't distinguish too much all of the different rocks because it's just too jumbled up together. So all we'd have to do is just press our brush See that? And it's not until it starts to get up here that we start to distinguish the different rocks. All right, let's go ahead and reload. And here we are. We're getting a little bit wider over here. See? And we can decide this after we've done the majority of the river rocks. Just make that nice and wider. I don't know. When I see streams like this, I start to wonder if there isn't any trout in it. And if so, what, what are they biting on today? I'm a catch and release guy. I don't like to eat fish, but I do like to eat fish. And so, uh, I'm just practicing in case I'm ever forced to go in the wilds. You know, if you go in the wilds, you gotta learn to live off the lay of the land. At least you can fish, right? I know, I just told you that uh, I don't like uh, fish, but you know if you're hungry, you'll eat a lot that you normally wouldn't. Uh, I hear what some people, and have seen what some people eat, uh, and, uh, ooh, I'm just so glad for McDonald's some days. Actually, that's not true. I'm just so glad for my wife's cooking. And I hear a lot of people complain about their wives. And I said, well, you ought to try my wife's cooking. And then I start thinking about that, and I said, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, let's not get any strange ideas going on here. And uh, so anyway, no, she's a good lady. She's a real good lady. I never tell her that, though, see. And grab up a little bit more. And we'll just finish in with the uh, last area. All righty. See how you do this with? Now, I could have used black acrylic and white acrylic. And, but it's just as easy to do it with the gesso. And... Uh, There we are, it's just that easy. All right, let's let it dry and we'll come back and have a great time.